Salutations everyone, this is Razor bringing you guys some Call of Duty Ghost action. Talking today about the big Call of Duty news. They have switched to a three year, three developer cycle for making the Call of Duties for the foreseeable future. With Sledgehammer Games uh, taking over as that third spot who had previously worked on Modern Warfare 3. And they're going to be making this year's Call of Duty, the one to come out in 2014. So we're going to have to wait another year for a Treyarch title. Um, I should have actually um, broken this story a while ago. I was just an idiot. I, I remember getting an email from Monster.com saying that Sledgehammer was hiring for making the next Call of Duty game. And in my mind, I thought, oh, they're just helping um, Infinity Ward just like they did in Modern Warfare 3, not realizing that Infinity War just came out with their Call of Duty and they wouldn't be making the next one, so... Oopsie, my bad. Oh well, I'm kind of dumb. Anyways, obviously they're doing this um, to give us a better quality game, uh, to give the developers more time, you know, an extra year to develop their game, because, you know, we've seen, you know, the past few years, um, the quality has not really, you know, gone up in you know many different departments a lot of people think that the game is is stale that it hasn't changed very much in this two uh year development cycle you know does it help that i i don't think that a lot of those um complaints are you know very you know fair um because you know if you if you change the call of duty formula too much it doesn't become call of duty anymore um but also this is this is just going to change the way that you know it works because it's been Infinity Ward Treyarch since uh, you know I guess COD four or COD three came out because that was a uh, Infinity uh, Treyarch's first game, and ever since then they've switched off years. But now that Sledgehammer Games is into the mix, um, first of all we're going to see if Sledgehammer can make a really good you know Call of Duty multiplayer experience because I mean that's that's all really matters. I mean. Who honestly cares about the campaign? You may say, oh, I like a good campaign, and I do too. I don't think the last two ha have been very good, especially Ghost. I thought that was the most boring COD campaign ever. Even more boring than the very first uh, Call of Duty. But um, regardless, it it's the multiplayer that counts. And Sledgehammer Games did work on Modern Warfare 3. Um, uh, uh, Infinity Ward was not alone in that and sledgehammer is responsible for a lot of what we saw in modern warfare 3 and what we saw wasn't very good i'm not gonna lie um call of duty ghost is definitely much more different um than modern warfare 3 and some people may like or dislike that uh but regardless we're gonna have to see what sledgehammer games identity is going to be because uh, Treyarch is the premier developer of Call of Duty, you know, has been for, you know, the past f a few Call of Duties, and Infinity Ward is the inferior developer, and hopefully, you know, Sledgehammer follows the Treyarch path as opposed to the Infinity Ward path, and hopefully this three-year cycle also allows Treyarch and Infinity Ward to give us um, more quality titles overall because it gives them an extra year to develop. And this is also, um, my guess crucial in that it's on a new platform now you know i mean i'm sure may you know at least this year's cod will be on the the old generation systems as well but with the new generation systems i'd assume that you know there's more stuff that you can do therefore more stuff that you need to do to make the game uh graphics wise sound wise um you know just um just the way that the game works you know the engine and all the stuff that goes into making a game. And when it comes to, you know, being a next generation game, that's going to require more work, different kind of work that uh, the developers are going to have to get used to and, uh, you know, slowly uh, develop over time. So this three years uh, life cycle um, combined with the new generation, right? I guess uh, we can't really call it new anymore because it's all here. Um, generation of consoles makes sense. 
because you know there's there's going to be a lot more that that they need to the they need to work on for these next gen titles. They're going to take a little bit more polish. They're going to take a little bit more work, and that's what this franchise deserves. That's what this fan base fan base has been craving for the past few years. Unfortunately, the Black Ops Two did not live up to the, the standards that people held it to, and Call of Duty Ghost was isn't as good as pretty much everybody had hoped. Um, it's a it's a disappointment on pretty much everyone's uh, anyone's that uh, opinion that I've seen with a few small closed-minded exceptions. I mean, I'm not saying you you have to dislike this game or not. You know, there are definitely enjoyable parts to it, but uh, you know, it's a very interesting news. Um, on one side, we're gonna have to wait an extra year every three years for a Treyarch game. Um, but we uh, don't have to suffer through an Infinity Ward game every two years. But, you know, hopefully um, this makes uh, quality um, the top priority. And hopefully this gives us better games. I'm hopeful. Um, I'm at, at times deliriously hopeful. Um, I'm, I'm just too positive when it comes to... Um, you know, s certain aspects of, uh, of video games, especially Call of Duty, uh, us Call of Duty players are very sadomasochistic in that we put ourselves through the ringer of the new Call of Duty every single year, and, you know, the past few years have been really big disappointments for the majority of fans, yet we still keep coming back, and we still play the game even though it's not as good as we had hoped. But hopefully this, uh, this mitigates that risk of a, uh, of a flop every year, and hopefully it's a sign of good things to come but at this point in time it's too early to, to tell you know maybe this is going to give us you know two bad call of duties every three years instead of one every two years and or maybe it gives us three awesome games every three years maybe maybe uh maybe this is the best thing that's ever happened to call of duty it's uh it's it's up in the air at this point it it definitely could lead to that um i am a blissfully optimistic about uh you know what this franchise can do and what it can be based off of what it has done and uh you know what what the fan base deserves and you know as well as the advancements in technology and customization um that have been made as well as what we can do um with our software with the hardware because take a look at um the Call of Duty 2 all the way to Call of Duty Ghost all being on the same console and that's a huge those are huge advancements made from game to game on many different aspects and with a new generation of consoles um, that is going to be you know just as if not even more uh, likely and uh, if that's the case then this uh, this change makes a whole lot of sense but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below we can continue the conversation over there I'm a little too optimistic when it comes to Call of Duty just because I want it to be so good. But uh, hopefully this change actually is for the better. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.